Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is sunscreen. So I just did my sunscreen testing video for this year a couple of weeks ago. I usually put it up in the first couple of weeks of May. Now it's getting towards the end of June. We're getting a little bit more into the summer season. And I know everybody's looking for a great sunscreen that they can use every single day to protect their skin. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about six tinted mineral sunscreens for the face that you should try and two that you can definitely skip. All of these sunscreens are going to be tinted mineral sunscreens. They just happen to be the ones that I like best. The chemical sunscreens tend to irritate my skin, so I can't really wear them. I've been testing sunscreens for about eight or nine years now. I test about 20 or 30 a year, so I've tested hundreds of mineral sunscreens. And I have to say that the tinted ones are the ones that work best for me because everything else leaves a white cast. They also can be heavy and greasy. And if the sunscreen makes you uncomfortable, you're not going to wear it. I need a sunscreen that I can wear every single day, whether I'm going outside or staying in, because of course the sun's rays, the UVA rays, which are damaging to our skin, can come right through windows and right through clouds. So there are damaging rays hitting your skin all day long, every day, and so you need to protect your skin from them. After all, you only get one face, you only get one outfit of skin to wear for your entire life, and so it's really gonna pay off in the long run to protect it. It's never too late to start using sunscreen because once you start using sunscreen, your skin can actually start reversing some of the sun damage that you got previously. The first sunscreen I wanna tell you about is the Undefined R&R Sun Serum. This is an SPF 50 with a PA++++ rating. The SPF 50 is how well it protects you from UVB radiation. You can think of UVB as the burning rays. They also do cause some skin cancers. And the PA++++ plus rating is for the UVA rays. UVA rays cause more skin's aging and they also cause some skin cancers. So you need to be protected from both. And so you need a nice broad spectrum sunscreen. Most American sunscreens will just say broad spectrum on the label, but some brands are having tests done for the PA rating now. And so this one has done it and it has the top PA rating, which means that this gives you excellent UVA protection as well as UVB. And since the main reason I'm wearing sunscreen is to prevent aging on my skin, I want those UVA rays to be solidly covered, right? I want to be getting good UVA coverage as well as good UVB coverage. So this retails for $28 for 1.7 ounces. It's 12% zinc oxide. When I'm talking about mineral sunscreens, there will only be two sunscreen ingredients that qualify as mineral sunscreens. Those are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. This sunscreen is water resistant to 40 minutes. It's fragrance free and it comes in one shade. This is a lightweight runny liquid. It contains squalane, so it has a slightly oily feel going on, but squalane is kind of a dry oil, so it doesn't feel super greasy. It blends in really, really easily. It's lightweight and fluid and the tint matches my skin tone. When I first apply it, it does look pretty shiny and it does have a little bit of an oily feel. But after I let this dry and set up for 20 minutes, it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't look shiny anymore, and this one on me is very, very wearable on its own. I do notice that some days, if it's like humid, it doesn't sink into my skin as well as on, you know, kind of drier weather days, and so on those days, it stays a little bit more shiny. I can feel it a little bit more on my skin. So in those days, I'll usually just put on a light coating of setting powder just to mattify it down a little bit because I do have enlarged pores and some texture issues, and Things that are a little bit luminous and glowy tend to accentuate that, so I prefer a little bit more of a matte look. So I just add a little powder on top and then it's the perfect sunscreen for wearing on its own. Since it is 40 minutes water resistant, I can wear it to the beach or if I'm working out or if I'm gardening and I love that about it. Makeup went on over it perfectly because it's so light and sheer, it doesn't add any bulk or any weight under your makeup. And my makeup wore really well for 10 solid hours over this, it didn't make it settle in my wrinkles more. It didn't make it slide around. So all that considered, this is the perfect sunscreen for me because it gives me solid UVA protection. I can wear it on its own and I can put makeup on over it and it looks great. 
I'd say that this is best for people with dry to combo skin. It's very hydrating, it's very lightweight. I have combo skin and it sits well on my oily areas and they don't get extra oily. It sits well on my dry areas and my skin feels hydrated all day. I'd say that this is good for light to medium skin tones. Another sunscreen that I love so much that is kind of tied with the R&R for my top spot is this one from Elta MD. It's the UV Elements SPF 44. This has been my holy grail sunscreen for, I wanna say three years since I found it. We have been together. I don't think we'll ever be separated. This is such a wonderful sunscreen. This retails for $38.50 for two ounces. It has 10% zinc oxide and 5.5% titanium dioxide. It's water resistant to 40 minutes, it's fragrance free, and it also comes in one shade. The difference between these two is that this one's a very lightweight fluid serum with a little bit of oil in it. This one is oil free and it's more of a traditional lotion. The Elta MD feels lightweight going on. It doesn't feel heavy or greasy. It just rubs right in. Doesn't give me any problems around the hairline. The tint is a good match for my skin tone, so I I'd say people who are light to medium would be a good match for this. The finish on this isn't overly shiny. It's not super greasy feeling either. After 20 minutes of dry down, this feels really nice. It is a little dewier than I would like it. So if I'm gonna wear it on its own, I do have to add just a little bit of setting powder over it to mattify a few areas of my face. Under makeup, this is a beautiful sunscreen. I use this sunscreen when I'm doing my foundation testing because it doesn't tend to change the look or the wear of my foundation. So this is a perfect sunscreen for me. Again, just like the r, r because I can wear it on its own and it looks great. And also I can wear it under makeup and it looks great. All of the Elta MD sunscreens were developed by dermatologists for post-procedure skin. So they're really great for people with sensitive skin or dry skin. They're hydrating. It's just beautiful sunscreen. I think this one is probably best for all skin types, I think you can use this if you're dry, normal, combo, or oily, and also best for people with a light to medium skin tone. Another favorite is the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face SPF 50. This one is $15.99 for three ounces, so this is gonna be the most economical sunscreen out of everything that I'm showing you here today. This was the winner of my sunscreen testing a few years ago, and it's been one of my holy grails ever since. I do use the Elta MD and the r, &R a lot more than I use the Australian Australian Gold, mainly because this one is a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, and is more for combo to oily skin because it can be a little drying, whereas these are better for drier skin because they are hydrating. This is 4% titanium dioxide, 4% zinc oxide. It's water resistant to 80 minutes, so really awesome for the beach. It's fragrance free and it comes in three shades. And if one of these shades isn't exactly right for you, you can buy it in two shades and mix them together and get the perfect shade for you. I know some people tell you not to mix your sunscreens, but you know, if it's between getting you to wear a sunscreen because it's gonna be the right color or not wear a sunscreen, I'd rather have you mix and at least have something on your face than wear nothing because you don't like the look of anything. So this does make a good mixer. So this sunscreen, as I said, is a little bit thicker. It's more of a traditional cream sunscreen. This also rubs on beautifully. It doesn't feel super heavy on your skin. Under makeup, this almost acts like a primer because again, it does give my skin that little bit of smoothing because it's a little bit thicker, but it does look a little bit heavier under makeup. It can make some foundations look a little bit heavier, but if you're using a lightweight foundation, it looks beautiful under those. It doesn't affect the wear of your foundation, which is why it was the winner in my sunscreen testing video a few years ago. So it's a fantastic sunscreen. I definitely wouldn't recommend this for people with super dry skin because as I said, it can be a little bit drying on the skin. So definitely more for people with normal to combo to oily skin. All right, next up is a sunscreen that was in my sun sunscreen testing this year. It wasn't the winner. It came in third, but I really like the sunscreen. So I wanted to share it with you because some of you might really like it as well if you're looking for the perfect sunscreen. So this one is from Naked Sundays. It's their Collagen Glow SPF 50 plus sunscreen. It retails for $35 for 1.7 ounces. It is 22.75% zinc oxide. If you're looking for high zinc oxide content, 
this one is going to be for you and is going to give you that solid zinc protection. This is water resistant to 80 minutes. It's fragrance free and it comes in one shade. The tint in this is a little bit on the paler side. It feels like a creamy lotion that rubs in easily. It starts off luminous and a little bit sticky feeling, but after 20 minutes, it sets up to a more matte finish that's smoothing on pores. So if you have enlarged pores or wrinkles, you might really like this one. Makeup goes on over it beautifully and looked good all day, but it did slightly shorten the wear of makeup, but it was really good overall. I think this is good for all skin types and paler skin tones. This next sunscreen is gonna be for people with a slightly darker skin tone than mine. This is the Color Science Face Shield Matte SPF 50. This is a PA++++ rating. It's $39 for 1.8 ounces. It's 12% zinc oxide, water resistant to 40 minutes. It's fragrance free and it comes in one shade. I've tested a lot of the other color science sunscreens in the past. I really like the Flex sunscreen. That's a good one, but they all tend to be a little bit greasy and a little bit too shiny on me to really use them like every day. And now this matte one, I really, really like this one. I haven't shown this one in a sunscreen testing video yet because I got this after my sunscreen testing video went up, but I have put it through the thorough Angie testing and it's a good one. This one is more of a traditional lotion. It applied really nicely on its own. It didn't get tangled up in hair. It didn't feel super greasy and it didn't have a super shiny finish. It was still slightly shinier than I would like. So if I was wearing it on its own, I might add a little bit of powder just to, you know, have it settle down and not accentuate my pores and texture, but it's so much less greasy and so much less shiny than the other Color Science sunscreen. So I tested this one under makeup and it did pretty well well under makeup. I gotta say it did shorten the wear time of the makeup a little bit, but it looks so good on its own that that's why I wanted to mention it here today because so far out of all the Color Science sunscreens that I've ever tested, I'd say this one is my favorite. And the last of my faves is the My Shell Protect Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50. This is a really lightweight matte sunscreen. And this one's such a lightweight fluid that it has a dropper in the bottle. This sunscreen won my sunscreen testing video last year and people loved it, got no complaints about it. And then suddenly about two months ago, a lot of people are having a reaction to this one. So where normally this would have been in like my top three, I'm dropping it down to number six just because I'm a little on the fence about recommending it now. Um, you know, when I mentioned that people were having a reaction to it in the video last week, a lot of people wrote in and said, oh, I'm so happy to hear I'm not alone. I had a reaction, but you know, an equal number of people wrote in and said, I've been using it. I bought one recently. It's been fine. I haven't had a reaction. So I don't want to just throw the baby out with the bathwater and be like, ah, it's no good straight up across the board, but just be careful if you have sensitive skin. I might think twice about going with this one. This is $28 for one ounce. It's 20% zinc oxide. It's not water resistant, but this one comes in five shades. So if you've ever had a real hard time getting a shade match, you might be able to find a great shade match in this one. So the reason I love this one so much is because it's such a lightweight fluid. What I always say about it is that if you've never ever met a sunscreen that you could even wear for a minute because they're too heavy, too greasy, too shiny, too whatever, this is the opposite of all that. This is a matte sunscreen. It's so lightweight. It just glides on over the skin. It sets up so quickly. Like it doesn't even take the 20 minutes of dry back for it to dry and set. It like sets in no time at all. And then your face just feels dry and it doesn't feel greasy and you're not super shiny. Where it's not water resistant, I wouldn't necessarily wear it to the beach or if you're working out outside. This is pretty good under makeup. You have to be a little bit careful when you're applying makeup over it, not to disturb it too much. It can have a little bit of issues with balling and pilling with some skincare or with some makeup. But if you get your makeup on, over it without disturbing it. It looks beautiful. Doesn't affect the wear of the makeup. Doesn't look shiny in the afternoon. Um, doesn't make it settle in your pores. So definitely worthy of a mention, but it's just a little caveat there about some people having a bad skin reaction to it. So now let's talk about the two sunscreens that I would definitely skip. 
The first one I'm skipping because it doesn't really give you true broad spectrum coverage, even though it says broad spectrum on the label. The La Roche-Posay and Thelios Tinted Mineral Light Sunscreen Fluid SPF 50 retails for $36 for 1.7 ounces. It is 11% titanium dioxide. That's it, no zinc oxide and therein lies the problem with this sunscreen. Titanium dioxide does not protect you from the entire UVA spectrum. So take a look at this chart. It shows you that the UVA spectrum is actually broken up into two separate parts. There's UVA2, which is wavelengths 330 to 340 nanometers, and then there's UVA1, which is 350 up to 400. And if you look down at the bottom of the chart, you can see there in the green, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. You can see that zinc oxide gives you full coverage against the entire UVB, UVA1, and UVA2 spectrums. But titanium dioxide, it gives you coverage in the full UVB spectrum, but only a small part of the UVA2 spectrum. It's leaving out 90% of the UVA spectrum and leaving you completely unprotected against it. And that is a problem. And the kicker is that it says broad spectrum right on the front of the label. How can they get away with that? The reason, because it covers you for that tiny part of the UVA spectrum. It doesn't matter how much, I guess. It doesn't have to cover the whole thing. So you really have to be careful what is in your sunscreen and make sure that it's giving you that full UVA protection because as I said before, UVA, A is for aging. So if you're using that one, I would urge you to reconsider and try something else. One of the other six that I've mentioned here today would be a good place to start looking for something. All right, so that is the first of the two that I don't recommend. The second one is one that <laughs> I'm actually relieved that I don't like this sunscreen just because it's so expensive. And that is the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen. This is an SPF 50 with a PA++ rating. It's $60 for 1.7 ounces. It's 10% zinc oxide. It's synthetic fragrance free. It's not water resistant and it comes in one shade. I didn't have this in my sunscreen testing this year. A lot of people were like, what, where's the Tatcha? We've heard it's so perfect, you have to test it. So I ran out and got it. I tested it right away. It is a very lightweight, liquidy sunscreen with a very pale pinkish tint. So if you're a very pale, cool skin tone, you could love how this one looks on your skin. For me, it still left a little bit of a pinkish whitish cast even after the 20 minutes of dry back. This one was also very, very shiny going on and felt very, very greasy. It is lightweight enough that it does just glide over your skin. It didn't get tangled up in my hair. So from that standpoint, it went on very nicely and it didn't feel heavy, but the shine, I couldn't get past the shine and the greasy feeling. The shine from the sunscreen comes through makeup. Makeup was much more worn off than usual at the end of the day, and it looked really shiny and greasy, which accentuated my pores and texture. And for that price, I was like, it had better be perfection. And it wasn't perfection. It was far from it. I didn't even like it. It wouldn't even make it into my like top 10 sunscreens list. So I would definitely skip the Tatcha. All right, so those are all the products that I had to show you. I hope if you are in the market for a beautiful sunscreen that you can love, that you will try one of these. Links for everything will be in the info box below the video for quick and easy shopping. So I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Stay sun safe out there and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody, bye-bye.